You are welcome to Claribel Health Hub. A few days ago, I read this article. I was sad about it, but I think the point or issues that comes to my mind, I want to bring it out to the fore so that as a family, as a community, as friends, as family, we'll all be aware, be able to handle HIV as and when we hear of it, be it to us as individuals, as relatives, as partners, as spouses, we'll be able to handle HIV with all the confidence we can. And this is about a husband who posted an issue. And the issue was this. According to him, he has found HIV, precisely antiretroviral medications, under their bed. And he believes the drugs are for the wife who is on treatment. The first and foremost thing or reaction I gave was that, oh, this man is fortunate. The wife is even on ARV. That alone tells that the wife is taking control of HIV. But then, why would the wife hide antiretrovirals if it is true they are for her? It is because most of us, as soon as we hear HIV, we know it's a dead sentence. The relationship will have to end immediately. And I believe most of these things, like in this man's story, it is because he doesn't really understand HIV. And most of us still don't. We really don't understand and appreciate the fact that somebody has tested HIV positive. My beloved brother, my beloved sister, the individual diagnosed with HIV usually does not find it a comfortable thing already. Let us not compound the issue for them by making life so miserable for the individual. And for me, I was like, the husband even bring it. He should not have brought this issue up into the social media platform or on the social media community. Anyway, by it, I'm able to share an idea or two as well with you. Yes, I know. But then my point is this. I believe if a man could have confronted the wife about the drug, I believe and hope they would be able to assess the facility where the lady gets the drugs from. They'll be able to talk to a counselor or two who will lead them through appropriate counseling and disclosure. And then the necessary measures will be taken from there. I was downhearted. And this is the first question I asked. If these drugs are mine and my husband should ask me, are these drugs yours? Right from the word go, I will be scared because for a long time, I have already been suffering to disclose this that I have not been able to. And I'm still praying for the time and a, an opportune time, a good time to be able to be brave enough to tell my partner, to tell my spouse that I'm HIV positive. Unfortunately, I have not been that courageous to do this until this time that you have found it. Couples, spouses, let HIV not be a life sentence for us. Let HIV not end our relationships. Nobody knew that there was HIV there and walked into it. If the individual had known that that was HIV, like you want to run away, the person equally would have run away. Unfortunately, the person was not well or something happened, went to the health facility, the test was done with their consent, only for them to realize that they are living with the virus. Unfortunately, there is no test in the world currently that can tell when an individual contracted the virus. As contagious as we might see it to be, currently, because of ARVs, it has caused a lot of individuals living with HIV live regular and normal lives like you and I, and they are doing so well. Let us not 
go in with all issues because we have found HIV. And unfortunately, sometimes when we see it, the person who this drug is for, we don't contact, we don't even ask them. They are the last to know that we have realized and seen or have finally found their secret. But seriously, let's ask ourselves as individuals, if you are the one who is having HIV, would you want it ever to be discussed in any of your social platforms or in any community that you belong to? We are all not comfortable disclosing our HIV status for individuals who have really come out to tell that I'm HIV positive. It has taken a lot of courage, counseling, and bravery to say it. Unfortunately, not everyone living with HIV can boldly stand out and say, I am HIV positive. But today, I want each and every one of us to note this, that we are not far away from contracting the virus. And the virus is not selective. Somebody, usually we say the primary means of contracting the virus is through sexual intercourse. Some people have had many couples, have had many counts and many rounds of sex. And they will tell you they are HIV negative. Unfortunately for some, it was just once and they got the virus. Still for others, they were born, they grew up and realized we are HIV positive. Why? Because they were born with the virus. We can't blame any of these individuals because they have blamed themselves for far too long and they keep doing it day in and day out. If they've gotten to a point where they have been able to come to their acceptance to the point that, yes, unfortunately, I'm living with a virus. But then, with good counseling and adherence to ARVs, they are able to reduce the viral load, live healthy and normal lives. Let us not complicate life for them. Today, you will say it is them. Tomorrow, it might be you. Why? Because HIV is a human immune deficiency virus. The first word is human. It can affect Anyone, be you a man or a woman, no matter how careful you are. I know individuals who are ministers, who are reverend ministers, who are worthy, those who are poor. I know children, I know adults who are HIV positive and living well because they are adhering well to their ARVs. My brother, my sister, do you know your status? And if you happen to test positive, what happens? I hear you snap your finger. Fiaqua. But my dear, if you knew where you were going last, would have given you HIV. The fiaqua would have worked, but nobody saw it and it came. They only woke up one day and realized they are HIV positive. Stick and stay right here on Claribel Health Hub. If you have not subscribed, please do subscribe. We will discuss HIV further, telling about current statistics and how well HIV clients are doing on ARVs and how ARVs is helping save a lot of lives. And even we are having some couples where one is HIV negative, the other is HIV positive. And they are doing so well. They have lived for many years. And still, the one who is negative is still HIV negative. How are they doing it? And you know, we still have mothers who are HIV positive And are giving birth to babies who are HIV negative. And they are living with their husbands. And everything is working so well. You don't know. It might be you tomorrow. <laughs> We don't want to be there, I know. Let's equip ourselves with the knowledge so that we'll be able to handle HIV with all the courage it needs.
see you in our next episode as we discuss HIV further. Bye.